Well, joining us now with the latest details is ANN7 reporter Ntlantla Jele. She joins us live from Pretoria. Good afternoon to you, Ntlantla. Just give us the latest details and developments with regards to the story. What do we know so far? Um, good afternoon to you, Abigail, and to our viewers at home. We are indeed at the GCIS where a memorial service has been held by government communicators um, for um, Roni Mamuepa, who passed on on Saturday after a stroke. Um, the latest details is that um, the GCIS Media Center has been renamed to Roni Mamuepa. And joining me right now is um, acting DG of the GCIS, Ms. Pumla Williams, who just paint us a picture of the life and times they had together with. Good day. Um, yes, it was a beautiful tribute to Ro the Roni that I have come to know from 1993. Uh, I think we've listened to various people who have interacted with Roni in different ways. And I think what is consistent with all of them is the humility of the man, is the commitment of the man, and it's the man who loved his country. And I think this was something that was shared both from the communicators and from the members of the media. So it is a really great honor for the minister to rename one of our media center, which is a center that services the journalists named after Roni Mamwepa. I think it is going to serve as a constant reminder whenever we use that facility that we pay homage to Roni Mamwepa. And I think what we, we, is going to be quite interesting for us is that we will forever try and strive to live the values of Roni Mamwepa as a communicator. So for us, we feel very honored. And also, I think we would like to use this opportunity to thank the media. I think the media, from the moment that the announcement was made, they have done a sterling job in sharing with the South African this gallant of a government public servant uh, that Roni was. And I think we're really thankful for that. And, and we trust as moving forward, we will try and continue to emulate Roni in our inter interaction as government communicators with the members of the media. Um, can you tell us about the legacy that he's left behind? What can we look forward to uh, taking from what the life that he left as communicators, as media people? What can we look forward to, to moving forward his legacy? We, we know, we, we, we've said it in different ways that Roni lived the motto of Batupili, people first. And as a public servant, we strive at all time to understand that we are here to serve, not to serve ourselves. I think one of the tributes that was made was that to Roni up till now, not many people know uh, his rank. Because I think for, for Ronnie it never mattered whether he's an assistant director or a DDG or whatever. But what mattered is what comes out from what he tries to do. And I think that's what we, we've learned and what is, is, is what we are going to strive to do uh, in, in moving forward. So those are some of the attributes of Ronnie. And, and, and I think the most important thing is that Ronnie loved his country. Ronnie was not the kind of an eight to four public servant. Ronnie wanted to serve the country with absolute dedication and commitment. Thank you. That was Ms. Pumla Williams, acting DG of the GCIS, who painted a picture for us about the life and times of Ronnie Mamueba. Um, one of the speakers on the podium did say that he lived for the people. He put people um, first in everything that he did. Back to you in studio. Give us further details with regards to who was uh, in attendance there today and just uh, some of what was uh, said uh, about uh, Ronnie Mamweba. Um, in attendance today was a lot of people, um, mostly from media and government officials, um, including the Minister of Communications, who did deliver um, a nice emotional piece um, on the life and times of Roni Mamweba, the way she knew him. She described the ways in which he did his work and how he interacted with people, the ways um, she learned and what she learned from him 
um, in all the times that they've been together. Also, there were people, uh, former colleagues, um, there was also the DG of the Home Affairs, um, Mr. Kuseli Apleni was also in attendance. Other media houses were, were here as well, and everybody, everybody shares the same sentiments that Roni Mamuepo was a nice person, a person who did his job, like Ms. Pumla Williams said, that he was not an 8 to 4 kind of person, but he made sure that he got you what you wanted. One of the speakers did say that he would even go as far as uh, giving you questions to ask to the person that you want to interview. He would even call you and give you something that you need, even when you think you don't need it. So they did describe him as a person who was loving and who put people first in his career. Just lastly, was uh, any details around the funeral arrangements uh, uh, made public uh, today? Um, tomorrow there will be uh, the official memorial will be held tomorrow um, in Twani, and the funeral, the same, will happen on Saturday in Twani as well. Thank you very much. Let's leave it there. For now, Ntlantla, there is an N7 reporter, Ntlantla Jele, coming to us uh, from the memorial service of uh, Mr. Ronnie uh, uh, Mamuepa, uh, giving us details with regards to who was in attendance there and what transpired. Also further details with regards to the funeral arrangements uh, in that regard. Uh, stay tuned to N7 for the latest details and developments here.